but today is World Hypnotism Day. Now, no. have, you, have you ever been hypnotized? Uh-uh. No? Not, well, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> It well, might have happened. <laughs> well, some people are using hypnotism for ailments, including losing weight. Well, then I'm all for it. Smoking cessation. Uh, yeah, all kinds of biting, nails. biting nails. It works for a lot uh -huh. of people. Our next guest is, says that using the power of our own minds, we can think ourselves thin, because we know that's a big resolution for a lot of you people out there. Joining us to talk more about this is hypnotherapist Ron Esslinger. Thanks so much for coming in here today. Okay, when we're talking about hypnotism, can anyone be hypnotized? Can well, I? if you consider the fact that all hypnosis is self-hypnosis, that would be yes. I'll give you two examples. One is you're falling asleep at night, and the other is how many times you get in your car in your driveway in the morning, you drive to the studio, and you have no concept of anything that went on in between. You don't remember passing buildings or red lights. Or don't admit that. that. Don't admit it. <laughs> I'm, I'm always alert, and I know what's going on. Now, her, on the other hand, I'm But I know what you about. mean. Yes. Yeah. So you have a moment where you go, I don't remember yeah. how I got here. It's kind of getting that daydream yeah. where you're just kind of... Focused. Daydream. That yeah. is, that's the key word. It's the daydream. Because anytime we're in a daydream, we kind of in an altered state of consciousness where we take in information differently. Okay. So this could be useful for losing weight. How? Well, by imagining yourself or visualizing yourself doing the exercises or increasing your physical activity. It's like looking at what you want the outcome to be. You wouldn't buy a car just by getting up one day and saying, I'm going to buy a car. You start thinking about the color, why mm -hmm. you want one. Same thing with losing weight. You imagine yourself looking the way you want to look, but you've got to have a reason to be there. Why would you want to lose weight? Be healthier? Look better? Mm -hmm. We're going so, to talk a little bit more about looking thin or something. Now, now when you, I think hypnotism, a lot of people think... Yeah, stage hypnosis. Yeah, yeah, on stage, yeah. make people they, do funny things. And that's not what, that's we're, not what we're talking right. about. No, we're actually, that's what people think about, though. And that was the first oh, yeah. thing that, that came to your mind, but that's not how this... This works like that. Not at all, but I have to deal with that with every client that right. I have yeah. because They're what expected. we're really talking about is clinical hypnosis. My profession for 35 years was a nurse, and most of that as a nurse anesthetist. That's how I got interested in hypnosis because of the clinical aspects of the things that can happen just by changing how we view ourselves and managing our stress response. Now, I saw a wonderful story on Dateline. I don't know if any of you saw it out there. Uh, a couple of years ago, they followed people around uh, going back to a high school reunion, trying to lose weight for right. that big 20th year reunion. And the person that lost the most weight, they did all sorts of diet, was hypnotized. Exactly. So we're, we're going to give some people some 10 ways that we can think ourselves thin because we know that's such a big resolution for the year. Uh, let's read some of these. Imagine yourself at your optimal weight. I guess this is a good place to start. Right? Well, I guess if you want to imagine yourself at your optimal weight, we've also got to be realistic and believable. So if you create a vision in your mind, uh, think about this. Proverbs 23, 7 says, as a man thinks in his heart, he is. But even better than that is Candace Perk came out saying, uh, she's a biochemical researcher at Georgetown University, that every cell in your body has its own consciousness, it has its own memories, and it has about 6,000 receptor sites. So therefore, if you can create a vision of how you want your body to look that's realistic, unbelievable, then you will start doing the things automatically. You're creating a habit. It takes 21 days to create a habit. And by creating that habit, you automatically start walking more, you automatically start eating the right foods, you start eating more frequently so that you keep your metabolism up. Those are the things we're talking about. Okay, so you do um, advocate eating breakfast, eat every three hours, drink 16 ounces of cool water first thing in the morning, and drink half your body weight in ounces of water every day. So if you weigh 120 pounds, you should drink 60 ounces of water That is correct. A day. And then we talked about drinking, starting off with 16 ounces, mm -hmm. because what that does, of 16 ounces of cool water in the morning, it increases your metabolism. Now, when I talked about eating every three hours, we're still living in a body that's at that 30,000 years behind where we are as uh, evolutionary-wise as far as food gatherers go. So in about three hours, if you've not eaten some, your metabolism slows down because it doesn't know if you're going to get to eat again. So that by eating something simple, but not just eating, it's got to be something healthy, mm -hmm. you increase your metabolism. Also what you do is you maintain the even blood sugar so right. you don't get these dips and downs. So it helps a whole lot. Now how often do we, should we take the time in the day to kind of visualize and take the time to think about uh, thinking to be thin or picturing ourselves a certain way? Oh, I think on a regular basis. Uh, I teach how to breathe properly. It's one of the first things I talk with. And I tell people, if you will breathe this way and create that vision, one of the things you're going to do is decrease your stress. People who are stressed automatically crave sugars and salts. They crave sugar because you've got to have energy. If you're in a stress mode, that's the fight or flight. And you're, you uh, the want salt. salt because you have to have the sodium 
for the electricity for the movement of the, se of the muscles. So therefore, people who decrease their stress automatically quit craving those particular foods, which makes a big difference. I crave all those. <laughs> Sugar and salt. Uh, a couple more. Uh, think yourself then. Don't eat one cookie per day. Well, let, let me jump yeah. on that. What all it right. means is, if you would leave off the equivalent of a cookie a day, okay. 150 calories, it takes 3,500 calories being utilized to lose a pound. A pound. So therefore, one cookie a day would equal in a month of losing one pound. Walking 20 minutes a day is equal to another 3,500 calories. So that's two pounds a month. Drinking that 16 ounces of water more, that makes three pounds a month. But people who do not eat breakfast will gain about a pound a year. So in 10 years, you've gained 10 pounds just because you don't eat breakfast. So simple things like that. Just little, if you just do the little things, the yeah. little steps, right. they go a lot longer. And, and if you up. visualize what you want your outcome to be, doing those things just kind of start coming naturally. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm believing. If you could stay here afterwards and hypnotize me, that would be great, though, because I need to lose this gut I've been working on for the last 30 some years. <laughs> Ron Esslinger is a board certified hypnotherapist in Oak Ridge, and his business is called Healthy Visions. You can give him a call at 220 0777. We're going to put a link to Ron's website on the style page at WBIR.com.